Where were you born? New York. Can you be a little bit more specific? Queen, Queens, New York. Okay. And where were you raised? Um, in Port St. Lucie, Florida. And where do you reside these days? Now I stay in Los Angeles, California. How long have you been in LA for? I've been in LA now for like nine months. So yeah, literally right after that interview that Kayla did with you, we literally took a road trip. We went to Alabama, Texas, and hit Cali. Like, you know, that was like around the time I was blowing up too. How deep in the LA scene or the LA market are you? Shit, I know everybody in LA. And I could say, yeah, it's safe to say everyone in LA knows me too. Recently, I've done an interview with Wo Vicky. Yeah. About LA. Mm -hmm. Have you had a chance to see it yet? Actually, I think I did watch it. Where we talked about the L.A. parties and things of that nature? Yeah, you know, it's funny. Like, certain people, when they talk about L.A., they always say, oh, L.A. people are fake or this and that. Oh, I'd rather be in, um, you know, this place or this place. But to me personally, it's like L.A. is probably, like, the best place to be, like, at least when you're doing this because, it's like, it's just – I done been to Target or this place or that place, and I done ran into, um, what's that man's name? Um, damn, what's his name? Slim Jimmy. Um, we done seen Travis Scott pull up on Melrose, Trippy Red. So it was really normal, to be honest. You know, you don't even really got to be traveling with security like that all the time in L.A. While in Florida, like I said, I'm not, I'm not going to go to just any club here in Florida because it's more, to me, it's more wicked out here than... Um, in L.A., and L.A. is normal. You party with celebrities in L.A. When it comes to the parties, though, Vicky had a description about them. Mm. Should I play it for you just so you could hear? Uh, sure. Just the clip uh, so we're all on the same page here. And I want to see if you've experienced anything she described okay. in my interview with her. All right, I'm playing the clip for you now. Merch. My new money goal? It's an ad. Finance, free of cash, turn my spare room into a recording studio. <laughs> Discover and compare the smartest credit cards, mortgage lenders, and more, so you can make your money goals happen on Word Wallet. All right, here's when the clip. When it comes to money, are you the breadwinner in your family, your immediate family? Yeah, in a way. How easy or hard is that position? Um. Um. I'll do a little fast forwarding it's, here. It's, all these famous people get so fucked up when they move to Hollywood because it's like, okay, they got everything. They famous now. They got money. They living in L.A. But and they thinking, you know, what I'm saying they're gonna be happy in there. And then they still ain't happy, and then they start doing drugs and stuff because it's like they so fucked up. They're trying to figure out why they ain't happy, but really you just got to find God and find Jesus. Hmm. Yeah, have you seen this with your own personal eyes, or is this... Many times. Okay. In many situations. Like, you know, especially being in Hollywood and being in the industry, you see a lot of that. Now, were there ever times you almost yourself got wrapped up into that scenario or no? Well, as far as the drugs, no, because I never, um, I don't want to do that. Um, because I don't seen that, seen that to know, so I know better. But, like, as far as, like, probably, like, in Hollywood, if you're in the industry, the devil, the devil, they, like, Illuminati, all that shit, they try to get you. Especially when you got a big influence, you around that shit. They be try, they try to get anybody, but you just gotta be smart and have discernment and and have God's favor over you. Cause if you don't got that and you in Cali, you gonna get sucked in for sure. What are some of the ways they do try to mm. get to a person? Of oh, that oh let me tell you, let me tell you what they do is they invite you to these parties, these house parties, and then. They they be like, oh, Woo the Woo gonna be there, like your favorite rapper, the big ass person, and Woo the Woo gonna be there. Oh, uh, 
before you get in, you gotta give us your phones and all this shit, and then, and then they might do some gay shit to somebody, and then, and then, and then like, and then like try to like and record it and tell them, oh, if if you if you expose us, we gonna post it everywhere. And I know that from word of ear, but I know they do a lot of crazy shit in these in these house parties and um. Also, what I was about to say? Oh, okay. Let me tell you an experience I went through personally. So I was with some friends in LA, and it was this big influencer party. Should I say a name? It was Bella throwing party. So, so I got invited from some other friends. I, it was on Halloween. I already don't celebrate Halloween. That's the devil's day. But. I happened to be with them, and they was going, and I was like, fuck it, let's go. So it already was a lot of signs. The party said you have to be half naked. I'm like, first of all, I ain't going half naked nowhere. Second of all, um, it was like a lot of signs that was adding up that night. Like the same night on Hollywood Boulevard, the party was on Hollywood Boulevard, some guy got shot and killed on Hollywood Boulevard, so the whole street was shut down. So that was another sign. I get it. So then we get to the party. Almost done. You know, this is the beginning of all this COVID stuff. So we get up there. They talk about, um, oh, yeah, you can't bring your phone in. I'm like, first of all, who ain't bringing their phone in? I'm bringing my motherfucking phone in. I don't give a fuck who you is. It could be Kim Kardashian, and I'm bringing my phone. And then you got to sign some papers. What am I signing some shit for to get into a party? Like, what? Yeah. Like, I'm from Atlanta. We don't do shit like that. And then this is where it really threw me off. They said they had to prick your blood to get in. I said, oh, no, I'm good. Everyone else went. I called my Uber and left. Like, that's the shit where I think they be trying to get you. And, like, if it's like, like, good thing about it. People move to L.A. for a dream. They chasing money, fame, clout, whatever. So, they got to think about it. Somebody, so, so, like, a, 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 a young girl that's trying to get on, that just moved out there. She going, oh, hell yeah, Bella Thorne. And then you don't know who else in there, like, connections. Me, I'm I'm good. Like that shit gonna come naturally. I don't gotta prick my finger, take my blood to get into a party. If it's meant to happen, it's gonna happen. I'm not finna do no something like that. Now you did. Uh, the others did actually attend that party. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what ended up happening at the party and things of that nature? Or? No, I didn't even ask them, and I don't judge them. Like that's them. I can't help what they do. Um, yeah. Now, for time reference, it's August 2021 now. Mm -hmm. But continuing on with uh, my... Okay. Mm. That was an excerpt from my interview with Woe Vicky. The video is titled, Woe Vicky Warns About Hollywood House Parties. $300,000, only fans check Sober Mother Boyfriend Part 5. If anybody wants to check that particular clip out and hear more. But based on what you heard, what did you think of what she said? Do you have a reaction to it? I mean, what there's like some truth to what she's saying. Like, um, I definitely heard of parties where like they take your phone and make you sign the NDA and this and that. But personally, like all the parties that I've been into LA, and I haven't really been to that much. I don't really get wet for parties like that. But um, yo, like literally the parties that I went to are literally open doors. Like even if you didn't get invited, you could like literally walk in. And to be honest, they're really not that crazy. Um, like really just pe people really had their own this is why I don't really go to parties in LA because it's like if you don't know nobody there it's gonna be really weird like going up to them and like trying to introduce because it's very um everybody has their circles in the party it's like it's really just like a circle group conversation like type of party in Florida you know what I'm saying you go to a party and you know what I'm saying somebody gonna be twerking on you or some shit um dancing on the walls you feel me hitting the folks but nah, trust me, there ain't no dancing and no parties, you feel me? Yeah, there's some drinks, and you know, people be smoking and all that, but realistically, man, it's like, people go to parties here in LA with their group to talk to their group. It's not even really networking like that going on. That's why I don't even care. They could tell me, oh, this person gonna be there, that person, okay? It's not like I'm gonna talk to that person there. They gonna literally be, you feel me, involved with their group, so yeah. But um, another thing that she said was something about, like, drugs and something like that. I mean, I'm not going to lie. The first time I went to L.A. was the first time I seen Coke. So, shit, yeah, they definitely be doing drugs out here. But 
not me. I don't really do drugs, so, but yeah. Are you able to describe what fashion you saw cocaine? Yo, I literally seen, I was in the studio and I actually seen somebody famous literally do the fucking line of coke right there. Like it was nothing. I was like, what the, like, am I seeing this shit right now? Did they ask if you wanted to hit? Nah. He just did the whole shit himself. <laughs> and uh, you were shocked? Yeah, I was actually shocked as fuck, especially because it was just weird. Um, it was like a huge shift in my mind seeing this person that I see on TV, a whole nother side of this person type shit. Had no idea they did cocaine in their life. Never. It's not something that's public that they do. It's not something that's on social media that they do. You only knew because you happen to have that session with this person. Facts. And... What'd you think after that? You see somebody do cocaine. How did they react to that drug? To be honest, they it, they didn't act any different. So it makes me question, like, what was the point of it? They didn't act any crazier or any more chill. They act the same. And um, what was the other question? Well, yeah, I just wanted to see what their reaction was off of cocaine. If they yeah, nah, they were it was like normal for them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, how that made me feel? It just made me feel like. Yeah, everybody out here really doing drugs. Everybody. Was that the only time you've ever seen cocaine in L.A.? That was actually my only time, but that definitely, um, yeah, gives me the guarantee that everyone's doing that shit. Have you ever tried it? Never. Do you have any interest in trying it? No. <laughs> Why not? Shit, I'm scared to. I, I'll probably, this shit might wake me up to something, and now I'm... All right, basically, knowledge is power. So it's like, let's just say one of these drugs open up your mind like they say they do. They say it um, makes you, like, see things or you get smarter or you start thinking questions you never thought before. Now, all of a sudden, you become hella shameful or, you know what I'm saying, or you can't even get this thought out of your mind. And that's what I think. It's almost like the, um, it's like the evil apple. It's like it's better off not knowing. Now, all of a sudden, you know you're naked. And you got to grab that leaf and cover yourself. Shit. If I'm naked, I'd rather just not know then. Fuck it. Sometimes people also grow addictions to drugs as well. Yeah, that's... Have a cocaine addiction. Yeah, and, and that's another part. Like, people, you know, they don't want to do it because the addiction and uh, shit, they might become abusive and this and that. Me, I'm just like, yeah, that's, that's another thing I'll be worried about. But I'm really just worried about what it could do to my mental, like... You might fuck you up. You might just become crazy. After this person did this in front of you, it wasn't talked about or... Oh, nah, it was so normal. Like, shit, nah. And this person only hit it once in the studio? Um, he probably had like three in his hose. <laughs> yeah. And did you end up collaborating with him? <laughs> uh... Yeah, something like that. Don't want to share the name. Nah. Just, I'm not going to put him out like that. Now, what about extortion? Does that happen in L.A.? What does that mean exactly? Extortion. Let me give you the correct definition. Vicky described it, but let me give you the correct definition so we're all on the same page. Okay, extortion. As defined by Oxford languages, the practice of obtaining something, especially money, through force or threats. Hmm. And they give an example. Quote, unquote, he used bribery and extortion to build himself a huge art stuffed mansion. So... Vicky was kind of talking about extortion in the sense in the clip that I played earlier where there's some gay stuff that they may happen in a setting. There, It's recorded, and if someone exposes that, then they'll expose the gay so situation. So let me ask you, is there a real difference between extortion and, like, blackmailing? Is that, like, the same thing? Let me look that up. It sounds like it's just blackmail. Or is it bullying? It's either bullying or blackmail. It sounds like the same. Blackmail definition. 
according to Oxford Languages. Demand money or another benefit from someone in return for not revealing compromising or damaging information about them. So I guess blackmail is the better term instead of extortion in that sense of what Vicky described. To be honest, man, in money, there's always going to be a root of evil, and that's how people come up. Me, if I personally ever got blackmailed, I just say, fuck it. Like, reveal whatever. You know what I'm saying? If this shit wasn't made for me, man, like, whatever. Like, I mean, what is there really to expose? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's out there. Like, you know, what do you want? You want me to go down? I don't give a fuck. You know, I ain't really asked for none of this shit. Just curious there. And for time reference, it's September 2021 now.